Members, the committee substitute for House Bill 2 is absolutely critical to our budget process. This bill includes funding for the Medicaid and correctional managed health care shortfalls, which will be paid for through general revenue and available balances. In other words, the surplus that we have left over that is part of the BRE is going to be used to pay for those items. CHSB 2 also includes critical one-time items funded using a modest withdrawal of the Economic Stabilization Fund, which is projected to reach almost $12 billion by the end of the biennium. CSHB 2 proposes to spend $2.4 billion of the ESF, an amount the Comptroller's Office has testified to this committee does not place the state at risk with regard to our credit ratings. As a matter of fact, this bill seeks to protect the state against a scenario in which inaction on addressing critical deferred maintenance and other infrastructure could negatively impact our state's credit rating because of the amount available in the ESF. Since its inception, the ESF has been tapped seven times to address downturns in the state's economy and to pay for items critical to the functions of this state. Most recently, I would say that was in 2013. Due to the state's underperforming economy and less general, general revenue available to us through the passage of Prop 7, not using the ESF will lead to reductions that will cut to the core of our state's public education system, would require our state's retired teachers to spend more than half of their pension on health care, and it continues to place our state's most vulnerable children at risk by failing to protect them from abuse and neglect. This is fundamentally unacceptable, and it doesn't reflect the true values of this state. Some members of our body have said publicly that our situation isn't really that bad. I can't disagree more with that, and I hope each and every one of you who have had the opportunity to dig deep into this budget would recognize that also. This modest withdrawal is critical and only gets us part way of the way to closing the gap between the available revenue and addressing our state's basic needs. 